machine learning using data classification with uh, SQL database. Let's see, I create a project. I actually import the sentiments data from here to a database. Before that, you have to convert it to Excel for you to easily for you to uh, it's more easy for you to import to a SQL server. So after importing the data to SQL server, I have a project console project, I click next. Then I put a name OML record. I say next. Okay, I will say create. Okay, here is the data that I imported from the text file. Wow, that's a bit slow. Okay. So I'll leave this line here. Let's see our database with this. Uh, yeah. Hey, okay, it's data looks like this. I will come here. Uh, right click. Now add. Now is the default name. I will say add. Okay, I will say data classification. I will say next. I will say SQL again. Choose data source. Connect, continue. Look at host. Look down. Yeah, okay. I'll choose the table. Okay, this is the table I imported. Okay, so I want to predict column one and column two. Okay, it's supposed to give me the name, but anyway, uh, I'll just say, I want to predict uh, column two. So I want to say next. I'll say start training for 60 seconds. I'll say this put 30 seconds. You shorter the time, you'll be less accurate, but just for 10 more seconds. Uh, no, I think I cannot. Uh, 60 is the best time. 60 seconds. That training. Okay, it's going to come down here. 
right? So you will see the label here, but have a column one and column two. Yeah, it's a column name. Yeah, you should name it accordingly. This is because of the text file. If you open the text file, I believe there is no uh, no header or when there's an import, then the SQL actually don't check the header. Okay, so but anyway, so I want to predict the score with my data here. Okay, I have, uh, you can see the, the data has been trans only. Okay, penalizing the model. Okay, it's the best accuracy is 80%. The best accuracy. So now I can go to my minimize this for the next set. Okay, so with this I predict. Yeah, at twenty. This is a sentiment. So this is a one is at the percent, this is point eighty percent, this twenty percent. So I can go to the next step. I copy this code, I put it into just below here. And I want to actually print out the score that I have, right? Right, so no. No. Score, yeah. right. So I can run this now. With this I should have you can see the score. What is the score? Okay, it's building the jacket. Building the jacket. You can see here, it's building. I'm using a gig for my virtual machine. So coming out, right? You should see hello world. Hello. It will take a while to run during the first time. To be using the trend model. Not yet. Uh, okay. Oh, so no, this is a uh, let's go on. Result dot. I think it's cool. So far, I'm using this cool. I just try to use the prediction. Let me run. Yes. So, position is one here, right? 
So, okay. So this is how you go, right? You can actually press with a different property and see. I hope this is how you can get started.